Hi everyone, welcome to the Imaging Study Lecture Series. Our today's topic is about the various uses of ultrasound. Ultrasound is the high frequency sound waves inaudible to humans, frequency of which is above 20,000 Hz or 20 kHz. In medical science, ultrasonography is one of the most widely used diagnostic tools in our daily practice. There are many non-medical uses of ultrasound. We want to focus those on this lecture. Before I enter into the main part, I would highly request you to consider subscribing our YouTube channel and follow us on other social platforms. It will help our channel to grow and will help reach more people. All the links are given on the description below. Nowadays, sonography is divided into many branches. Young medical professionals are getting attracted to this as a career option. Its safety and real-time usability has made it as a wide accepted tool to the doctors and patients. Ultrasound is primarily used to visualize the soft tissues inside the body. Advancement is made possible with the help of high-resolution sonography, Doppler and 3D 4D. Moreover, interventions and endoscopic procedures help ultrasound connect with other medical specialties making their work easy. Superficial and deep organs can be visualized in real time with ultrasound. Hot tissues like bones have a high attenuation capability causing them impermeable for the ultrasound beam. However, bony fractures like greenistic fractures can be well diagnosed with ultrasound. Air due to its high sound reflecting property also causes disturbance to visualize lung and intestine. However, ultrasound is widely used to diagnose pleural effusion, lung masses, intestinal mass, obstruction, and so many other lesions. Today, I want to talk mainly about the non-diagnostic uses of ultrasound. This may not be useful in your practice but may be interesting to know because ultrasound has a wide use in nature and industry beyond our idea. It is also used for various therapeutic procedures in surgery, rheumatology, physical medicine, dentistry, and so on. At the time I'm making this lecture, due to pandemic outbreak of COVID-19, BAT is a focus of discussion for some controversies. Bats use a variety of ultrasonic ranging or echolocation techniques to detect their prey. They can detect frequencies beyond 100 kHz, possibly up to 200 kHz. Many insects have a good ultrasonic hearing. Most of these are nocturnal insects listening for echolocating bats. This includes many groups of moths, beetles, spraying mantids, and less wings. Upon hearing a bat, some insects will make evasive maneuvers to escape being caught. Toothed whales, including dolphins, can hear ultrasound and use such sounds in their navigational system called biosonar to orient and capture prey. Porpoises have the highest known upper hearing limit at around 160 kHz. Porpoises actually look like dolphins but have some differences. Several types of fish can detect ultrasound. In the order Clopiformis, members of the subfamily Allocini have been shown to be able to detect sounds up to 180 kHz while the other subfamilies such as herrings can hear only up to 4 kHz. A common use of ultrasound is in underwater range finding known as sonar. By measuring the difference in time between the pulse being transmitted and the echo being received, it is possible to determine the distance. In 1876, a dog whistle was invented that generated sound above the human hearing limit. Its frequency was 23 kHz to 54 kHz. Dog's audible range is 40 Hz to 60 kHz. You may have seen this type of silent whistle in cartoons. Cats can also hear ultrasound up to 64 kHz. Polaroid SX-70 sonar one-step camera was made in 1978. 
It was equipped with a lightweight transducer system to focus the camera automatically, especially in dark environments. It could be turned off if manual focus was needed. Polaroid later licensed this ultrasound technology and it became the basis of a variety of ultrasonic products. Ultrasound generator systems are sold as electronic pest control devices. These are claimed to frighten away rodents and insects. There is no scientific evidence that the devices work. I have got one of these and trust me, I have seen mosquitoes sitting over it. A common ultrasound application is an automatic door opener, where an ultrasonic sensor detects a person's approach and opens the door. Ultrasonic sensors are also used to detect intruders. The ultrasound can cover a wide area from a single point. Ultrasonic humidifier is used to produce a cool mist. They are frequently used in aeroponics, where they are generally referred to as foggers. High frequency low amplitude vibration is used to create heat by the way of friction between the materials to be joined. It is commonly used for plastics and especially for joining dissimilar materials. In reality, an acoustic rheometer relies on the principle of ultrasound. The flow in pipes or open channels can be measured by ultrasonic flow meters, which measure the average velocity of flowing liquid. Ultrasonification offers great potential in the processing of liquids and slurries by improving the mixing and chemical reactions in various applications and industries. Ultrasonic cleaners, sometimes mistakenly called supersonic cleaners, are used at frequencies from 20 to 40 kHz for jewelry, lenses, and other optical parts, watches, dental instruments, surgical instruments, diving regulators, and industrial parts. The energy of 20 to 100 kHz range causes cavitation. It generates extremes of temperature and pressure in liquids. It results in the initiation or enhancement of the chemical activity in the solution. How can we finish without talking about weapons? Ultrasound has been studied as a basis of sonic weapons for applications such as riot control, disorientation of attackers up to lethal levels of sound. In July 2015, The Economist reported that researchers at the University of California have conducted ultrasound studies using graphene diaphragms. The thinness and low weight of graphene combined with its strength make it an effective material to use in ultrasound communication. One suggested application of the technology would be underwater communications, where radio apps typically do not travel well. Well, this one is a diagnostic use, but not in humans. Ultrasound is widely used in veterinary medicine to evaluate the pathology of horse, cattle, dog, cat, and many other animals. Ultrasound has been used since the 1940s by physical and occupational therapists for treating connective tissues like ligaments, tendons, and fascia, and also scar tissue, though it is still not proven effective. Surgeons use ultrasonic webs in lithotripsy to destroy renal stones. Dentists use ultrasonic webs to clean the teeth. A very popular therapeutic use of ultrasound is phacoemulsification procedure done by the ophthalmologist for cataract treatment. That's all for today. At the end, we can say that ultrasound is not only limited to its diagnostic use. As the technology is getting advanced day by day, scientists are focusing more about using safe source of energy. They are also trying to correlate with the natural use of ultrasound and implement it for the human benefit. I hope this lecture will help you give some idea all about that. Thank you. Have a nice day.